My name's Conrad Carr, I'm from Malibu, California. Out here with Sea Shepherd, this is my first time, first week even, and I'm loving it. It's hard work, it's intense. I love the cause, love the crew. Everyone out here is legendary, like my heroes. Consecrating their lives to the dolphins, to the whales, it's amazing. And I'm just a surfer who loves the ocean, and uh, <clears throat> lucky, happy to have this opportunity. Respect. There we go. Just got some. There's a lot of boat out there, right? It's pretty amazing. 14 trawlers, like all it's insane it's like uh, you'd like looking at the coast there's so many of them that's the refuge then. so these may be in the inside the limit these are right on the edge the trawlers are drawing it out for us the the boundary of the refuge. Yeah, it's like a yeah. dotted line made of trawlers. Yeah. It makes you wonder where your shrimps that you're eating comes from because uh, that is the that is the place where they come from. We have a target that has been on the edge of the refuge for at least half an hour and it seems to be going inside the refuge now. Now they're oh, targets inside as, the as refuge. Uh, Bastien, uh, yeah. Del barco Marchinchin para hacer una notificación. And now we're calling the Navy. Sí, uh, hay un barco que es por dentro el uh, refugio del Vaquita Marina. Ok, entiendo, ok. Eh, nosotros vamos a quedar aquí uh, y uh, mandar más información. Ok, muchas gracias. Hasta luego. Ok. So, well, this time he got the message really well that uh, there is one trawler inside the refuge of the Vaquita Marina and there are 14 others all around. So they say they're gonna send a, he's gonna report to his officer and they're gonna send a unit to uh, check. There's, there's one at four miles and then one at about seven miles. Yeah, all right, let's go. Cool. Okay. Up here. Well, we drove them out of the reserve. That's a good sign. Checking the position of a boat that it's just in front of us, and then the radio starts to uh, speak. So I hear the Navy telling the boat to stop the engine, and they then we just saw the light of the Navy boat. Mara heard the call on the radio from the Navy asking the shrimp trawler to stop, and now we can see the the Navy. Uh, actually going from one trim toilet to the other and that's really a that's a really nice feeling <laughs> it's really good so it feels really nice to see uh, the Navy around yeah, this is happening uh, it's the proof that uh, the Navy is responding to our call and all the trim trawlers are out of the refuge for the moment and the Navy is there well that's the very good end of the day the last line of tonight uh, at 11.15, VHF, channel 16, Navy contacted trawler and we have a visual confirmation of Navy unit controlling the trawler. That is really nice. We really feel like shepherds. It's really nice. Capitana 
from the Navy of San Felipe contacted me and said that they managed to uh, stop and arrest one of the ships that was illegally fishing inside the refuge. That's but, really nice. Yeah. What really uh, kills vaquita is the pangas when they were putting gillnets. So the trawlers, normally they don't kill vaquitas. They don't have any studies showing that trawlers kill vaquita. They kill lots of other species like turtles and sharks, but no vaquita. Uh, what's annoying is that if they can they come inside the vaquita refuge, then they ruin all the marine scientist equipment to count vaquita, and we will never know how many vaquitas are left. So that's why it's important they they respect the law and they stay out. Mm -hmm.